Hey, Brian, we're live. <laughs> you what, Andrew? You got, you're live. We're live right now? Yeah. No, can we start all over? <laughs> no. Can we delete that? No. Is Robert going to see that? Yeah. Can we just like turn it off? I don't want to even see me shoot pool on the clock. We're waiting around here. Go, go, go. Oh, okay, sorry. Hey, everybody. Brian Singleton, Salt Lake City Terminal Manager. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, I know some of you are probably driving right now. So, you know, whenever you get a manager, will make sure that it's up uh, on Facebook and on YouTube so you can watch it in the future. So, uh, like I said, thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> you know, I moved out here. I'm from Missouri, uh, and I moved out here about 10 years ago. Uh, we started talking about uh, growth once I started moving out here, and, and that's kind of the part of the reason why I moved. Robert and the team, we, you know, had a really big vision of exactly what we wanted to do. And, you know, it's taken us a while, 10 years, 11 years, whatever that is. And I'll tell you, it's really come to, you know, it's, co it's coming into play. So when I first got here in 2010, we had about 23, 24 in-house associates and about 200 uh, trucks domiciled out here out west. Uh, today, I can tell you we have about 150 in-house associates and close to 700 trucks. And that number keeps growing every week, every week. It's, it's flat out amazing exactly what we've accomplished. You know, for those of you that have not been here, uh, you know, only been here through the COVID times, these meetings are safety meetings. And what we do is we have them every Friday. We usually host them in Springfield at the main terminal with live people, free breakfast. And it's broadcasted uh, not only on YouTube and things like that, but also to other terminals where you can ask questions live. Um, you know, we love to get back to that. We can't wait till we do. But right now, what we're doing is now is these live meetings. I would really love to speak to 150 people than just want this one camera. So bear with me. <clears throat> it makes me uncomfortable. So, um, you know, today we do have a long list of speakers. This meeting is going to be a little bit longer than normal, a little bit different than normal. Normally we'll give you safety numbers, different things that, uh, you know, that you can bank on uh, from the highway patrol, maybe sometimes different things like that. But this week we're going to do more of an introduction to the Salt Lake City facility in, in and of itself. We have grown uh, with the new amenities building. Basically what I want is I want these people to tell you a little bit about themselves, what they do here at Prime, how long they've been here, and what they can do for you when you go uh, through our terminal. Uh, from the person, the first person you see out in the plaza, all the way through security, to Brandon in the cafe, to everyone, uh, they are really here to help you to make your life easier. So here, uh, I'm gonna run through a list of those folks and they'll just introduce themselves one after the next. And, and if you ever have any questions, I'm down in the operations facility, uh, down right down the middle, in the middle of the desk there. So just come and see me. Uh, I got one more thing I want to talk about before we start, before I introduce the, the first speaker here. Um, <clears throat> you know, I know all of you are aware of how bad the weather has been lately. You know, usually we, we're used to uh, weather out west, bad weather out west. We've had a very mild winter out here, but I can't say that for the rest of America. And as you know, it's really been really hard on drivers out there having to take two, three, four days down. And you guys have been extremely safe. Uh, it's quite amazing what you guys have accomplished uh, you, with, with the weather and the way it's been. So I guess my point is, is, is I really appreciate all that you're doing during this weather time. But you know, also there's another big thing that's going on is our customers. Our customers, we have a core uh, group of customers that do amazing things for us. Anytime they're, they're there for us when we need more freight. We want the raises and the rates. Uh, they're always there for us. Mr. Woodkey and his and his team have done an amazing job getting this group of carriers. But I tell you what, right now, those customers need us more than ever. They're so backed up. We they need capacity, and and you know we need to step up and, and provide that capacity for our customers. Our customers are really really hurting right now. Uh, so if that means you know maybe skipping your home time or maybe coming out a day early something along those lines, just one more load, whatever you can do to help our customers. Uh, you know, anything, anything that you can do, I'm begging you and part of Prime, on behalf of Prime, you know, whatever you can do to stay out and run and, and haul this freight and help these customers out. Um, well, uh, from here on, we'll go, uh, we'll go through the speakers. First speaker I got is Aaron Ward. Uh, Aaron's actually a Missouri guy too. Um, he's been here quite some time. I'll let him introduce himself, but He's done the fleet manager role. Uh, he's now in charge of our TNT or PSD program here in Salt Lake. So, Aaron, you want to come up and talk? Sure. Get my one in the stick. 
Hi there, my name is Aaron Ward. Um, I've been with Prime since 2006. Started my career in Springfield at the main terminal there, and I've had the privileges of working in the Pennsylvania office and the Denver office. Um, Utah has been home for about 11 years for me now, and uh, like like Brian said, I uh, help with the TNT and PSD placements out here, and then also the orientation and training. Uh, we have a full training program out here. We can take people from PSD, which means they don't have a license at all, to AC drivers. Uh, we have a testing facility here that we work with in conjunction with the state of Utah. And we have three PAD instructors and one full-time examiner. So if you're needing a PSD student, you're in the area, please check in with us. We can definitely help you out or a TNT student. Um, if you have anyone that would like to come to Prime, we have a full orientation that goes on here every week. And we, with our new facility, we've got nice classrooms. We have a fully operational SEM lab, so we can do anything that needs to be done. As far as classes go, if you're due for your annual safety class, you can come through here and we can take care of that. If you need a logs class, an automatic transmission class, anything of that nature, we can cover that as well. The next speaker I'm gonna bring up is Troy Rich. He runs our orientation each week. And if you've been through orientation here, you know Troy. Um, Troy, come on out. <laughs> Thank you. Hi there. How's everybody? Hey, uh, like like uh, Aaron said, if you've been through orientation in Salt Lake City, you know me. I've been here in orientation for about seven years. Been with Prime for going on 17 years now. So um, when you first bring somebody in, when, when you first come here, I'll be the first person you meet. When you uh, get your own truck, I do the leasing here also. So I'll be the last person you talk to before you get your own truck. So it's pretty exciting. We, we've got a, a great program here for for the new students that come in here. Uh, we've got a great training program. We also have a local training program. We have our training program where our drivers go out with um, our students or our, our new drivers go out with, with trainers. We also have a great local training program here. Um, I work the orientation along with uh, Ben Williams. Ben Williams, he does the safety program here. He does the simulator. He runs, he's like our West Coast Wally. He does the simulators out here. And um, I mean, basically anything that you need to do with training, anything that, that you need to do with safety, logs, we take care of all of that here in Salt Lake City. So um, we've got a great new facility here good perfect classrooms and stuff you know good environments so if you need us here in salt lake uh, if you got new students coming in bring them on in if you uh, need to upgrade we'd also do the upgrades we do all the the testing and the uh, um you know driving and stuff uh, for the the upgrades also so. can you answer a question sure we have a question uh from someone asking if you do a tire chaining class we do not have a tire chain class out here yet no but that is that is in the works we're going to have that great thanks thank you oh hey this is <laughs> this is megan she runs our hr department here in salt lake city <laughs> thanks, that? That okay? thanks. Okay. hi everyone i'm megan replica i work in the hr office here in salt lake city i've been with prime six years now, um, a year in Salt Lake City. Um, I moved out here to help with the expansion. Um, I can, if you're in the yard, I can help with general benefits questions, 401k, FMLA, so feel free to stop by. I am on site um, every single day. Um, just a quick update about uh, recruiting on the non-driving side. Over the last several months, we have hired 35 people. Um, we do still need 20 people across all of our departments. I know everybody wants the cafe hours to be extended. We are looking for people, and so as soon as we um, hire more people, we can do that. And then the spawn salon, we have some really great leads on that. So we should be able to um, open that hopefully soon. As soon as we know that date, we'll definitely let everybody know. I know everybody's super excited about that. Um, lastly, Brian wanted me to touch on the COVID test. We do have a dedicated facility that's handling our COVID test in the Salt Lake City location. So if you're needing a test, um, reach out to your fleet manager and they can get you in contact with Brian and I, and we can give you the directions of where to go and what to do. And next we have Ben in our security department. Uh, hey everybody, um, I'm Ben Cameron. Um, I've been at Prime going on my 11th year this year. Um, I'm the security lead here in Salt Lake. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about um, our ongoing efforts um, 
you know, with COVID and uh, Prime's uh, mask policy in the buildings here, um, you know, we've been seeing kind of an uptick with a lot of folks, uh, you know, not wearing masks. Um, so we just kind of ask that uh, everybody be patient. Obviously, you know, we're the ones that are going to try to remind you to, you know, make sure your mask's on and in place. Um, just, you know, be patient with us. You know, obviously it's, it's trying times for all of us. Nobody likes to wear a mask. Um, you know, we're on board with you guys with that, but it's one of them things everywhere you go, you have to have a mask. So um, also, uh, you know, as you come into inbound, I want to talk to everybody about, uh, you know, drug screens here in Salt Lake, uh, random drug screens. You know, as you come into inbound, the inbound tech will talk, you know, tell you if you are due for a random drug screen, um, they'll send you down to security. We're located just inside the uh, inbound outbound plaza area. Um, it'll either be me or one of my associates uh, that, you know, gets this done for you. Um, it'll be definitely in a timely manner. So um, it, it doesn't take, you know, we don't have to send you anywhere. We'll, we'll just get it done right here. Um, and then what else was I going to go over? <laughs> I think that's about it on my side. Um, thank, oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the uh, in the, the amenities building. We, uh, we got the mail room all up and operational. Um, we've got a bunch of folks signed up for mailboxes already. Um, we're taking care of all that. So uh, we've got a bunch of inbound incoming mail uh, packages um, that we're helping distribute. So if you're interested in a mailbox, definitely come see me or one of my guys. We'll get you set up, um, get your key and everything set up for you. Um, I just want to say thanks, you know, for all you guys do. Keep safe out there and, uh, and stay healthy. Next up is uh, Matt Judy, our fitness center um, trainer. Hey guys, my name is Matt Judy. Yeah, sorry, I'm short. So, uh, I'm the fitness trainer and DHF liaison out of Salt Lake City. Uh, so if you are in the terminal, you are more than welcome to stop by my office. It's right by the gym. Um, if you just want a workout written for you real quick or you want some personal training, anything like that, I'm available for uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, as well as um, I work with Matt Hancock and Sarah Waterman out of the Missouri location. We are currently building a new DHF website that should be a little bit more streamlined, a little easier to follow along, and that should help you guys with your driver's health and fitness uh, programs and everything like that and help it just kind of flow a little bit easier than it has been right now. I know I get a lot of a lot of uh, questions about it and people saying they're signed up, but they're not receiving any information. So we're, uh, we're hoping that it'll be kind of this follow along video type thing that's going to be a lot easier for you guys to know, hey, you're getting the information you need. Um, I, think that's, I think that's about it. So Hey, Matt. Yeah. Hey, uh, we'll slide in here. Uh, you're, you're newer to our company. Yes. Um, but what we do during these meetings every Friday, we ask all the military vets to stand up and, you know, we give them a round of applause and not with us not being live. It's kind of hard to do that now. Uh, will you tell us a little bit about your military service and what you've done for, for our country? Yeah. So uh, I joined the Marines right out of high school. I uh, did five years in the Marine Corps and three tours overseas. Uh, I'm currently in the, uh, the Utah National Guard with the 19th Special Forces Group uh, here. Uh, so I've been serving pretty much since I was 18, 33 now. So it's been a while, but yeah, it's been it's been fun. Well, we thank all of our vets out there. Uh, we really appreciate all you do and thanks for your sacrifice you made for our country. So thank you. thanks, Matt. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Uh, next will be uh, Mike with uh, maintenance. Hi, I'm Mike Sodell. I'm uh, head of maintenance here in Salt Lake. Um, I've been an associate for three years. I've actually been affiliated with Prime in one respect or another, doing construction projects over the last three years prior to that. Um, I am over uh, housekeeping and maintenance of the facility. Um, I had the opportunity to be involved in building these new buildings, uh, all three of them here on the site. Um, um, we have uh, really nice uh, bunk rooms and showers available uh, 24 hours a day. So any time of day or night when you come in, uh, they're available to get a nice warm shower and a hot bed. And Hey, Mike, we have gotten questions on the water pressure and making the showers hotter. What are we doing for that? So the water pressure is the same as it is in Springfield. I believe we're using different shower heads here. So the pressure may feel different, but we've gone through and tested six or seven uh, 
showers at a time and the pressure stays the same in all the shower rooms. Now we have turned up the heat, so they should be warmer. Great. Thank you. And then uh, if you come on site and have an issue in the bunk rooms or anywhere in the facilities uh, that's dirty or anything, uh, let me know and we'll get it taken care of. Awesome. Um, our next uh, guy is Brandon Scott from the North Star Grill. Remember my last name? Flatter. Um, I'm Brandon Scott. As, as far as it goes, I think I'm a, a baby with the company. I've only been on about three months. Uh, classically trained. Uh, I've been working in restaurants and hospitality since um, I was 17. I've uh, worked downtown fine dining uh, hotels with uh, Marriott International and uh, a lot of event spaces recently at Heritage Gardens. I was the executive chef there. Um, Lots of from scratch kitchens, almost exclusively. Um, so we, we should be prepared at the uh, North Star to deal with any uh, specific dietary considerations, like if you keep halal or kosher or vegan or vegetarian or gluten-free, we uh, we have everything on hand that you should need to, uh, to carry. I know I've already taken care of uh, a couple of vegan guests, and I know we've had a couple of Muslims come through. I'll try to make sure that uh, uh, with daily specials, in particular, we always have a uh, a halal, a halal option. Um, other than that, yeah, uh, I do. I am working to extend the hours. Um, we're trying to we're working with HR to bring staff on as soon as we can. Uh, particularly, I know we want to see us open earlier. I'm going to try to push us up to 6:30. We're opening at seven right now. Um, Thursdays we're limited. We are we are only open until one. Um, as soon as I can get a few more line cooks with availability on Thursdays, we should go ahead and bring us out to 2.30 for the full lunch service. And uh, opening in the evenings until 8 or 9, just as soon as I can get bodies in here and trained. Um, that said, we should always have grab-and-go items for your convenience. If you need something for dinner a little bit later, go ahead and grab it. Um, hey, Brandon, um, we have a question. Absolutely. When will the card readers be up and running for the cafe? You know, that that's a great question. Um, right now, we have the card readers... Uh, for uh, staff cards already ready to go, um, unless they have a student card. So if, they're, if their employee badge is green, um, we'll have to use another method of payment, but if it's purple or red, we should already be able to help them with a card reader. Uh, other than that, it's cash. Um, if they don't have cash with them, we can take their associate code, the six letter code. Uh, and outside of that, uh, I'm hoping to bring, John might be like clutching his knuckles right now, but uh, I think with, the new microsystem, uh, we should be bringing it on in the next month or two. And with that, we should be able to take on, on other kinds of cards as well. Any other questions, dietary considerations, anything like that? That's it. Great All job. right, fantastic. In that case, I'm going to bring on uh, Lance Curtis. He's a garage manager. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lance Curtis, <clears throat> shop manager here in Salt Lake. I've uh, been with Prime going on 15 years. Um, Started out in the truck shop and uh, moved to, moved around from there. Um, born and raised here in, in Salt Lake, Utah. Worked and uh, got a few of our shop guys here uh, to go over some of the, the different areas we have. Uh, we have Mike Horseman in our plaza, Ken Gowdy in our truck shop, and Kevin Lewis, our Freightliner rep, to go over some of the stuff. Um, that he can do to get you back out on the road, save time from having to go over to the dealer. Um, if you need to find me, I sit in the office over by the fuel island, uh, just inside from the fuel island. Uh, you know, got questions, concerns, don't hesitate to come in. Uh, I'm more than happy to sit down, talk with you about those. Uh, Mike? Hey, uh, you might want to move the camera down. I'm not real <laughs> tall, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, my name is Mike Horseman. I am actually the plaza manager. I am uh, basically in charge of anything coming in, out. I've worked at Prime for seven years almost. I started out in the tire bay, worked there for about a year. Figured I'd go ahead and transfer up to rebuild, get a little more knowledge. I worked in rebuild for about two and a half years, and then I kind of wanted to go ahead and learn tractors, so I had all the Prime equipment. Worked in tractors for about two and a half years. After tractors, I went ahead and uh, decided to come out here to Salt Lake. I'm actually from Springfield. Came out here about a year ago, 
try to return the uh, plaza around and make it more beneficial for you guys. I wanted to go ahead and uh, peek out customer service and make sure our customer service was top notch. We are the first people to go ahead and see you coming into the terminal. And we are also the last to see you leave the terminal. That being said, I want to make sure that any of you, any questions you guys have, I want to try to answer them right there in the plaza. We have a question right now from Robert Moses. Who is the contact for issues related to the Epic View system not working? Um, any contact would be the tractor shop with the Epic View stuff, um, tractor shop or detail. Most likely tractor shop can handle it if it's a plug issue. If it's actually an Epic View issue that needs to be fixed with a new dome or anything like that, it would be going over to detail. Um, in that being said, if you got any questions, like I said, I'll, I'll try to answer anything I can. If you cannot find me, I do have a plaza lead. His name is Zach Schultz. He can also help you. Um, if you can't find either of us, which is going to be very rare, but it does happen, go ahead and ask the inspectors for my number and you can go ahead and call my cell phone. I am completely fine with taking calls. I pretty much am on call 24 seven. So. so I think you just answered this, but Jay Johnson said there was no tractor guy inbound last week. I really have like having a tractor guy inbound to check my truck. Um, tractor shop guys, we don't have an inbound anymore. That was one of those things that it, we needed him back over in the tractor shop for staffing. That way we could go ahead and work more tra or work more trucks as they came in. Um, Rick Reb said the new style inverter is not as good as the Cobra that had on all my previous trucks. Can we get them changed? <laughs> the new style uh, inverters, there is a different switch on them. There is a high voltage switch and a low voltage switch or high wattage switch. If you look on the front of it, it's right there. It's uh, underneath a little flap. You just flap that open and push that switch to the high side. That is a lot of the cause of the new uh, inverters kicking off and basically throwing a code. Um, since you're so good at this, Charles Smith said, how are we looking at getting empty trailers available when we need them? Empty trailers is a tricky situation. With uh, empty trailers, it kind of takes the toll on our uh, trailer shop. We have staffed up our trailer shop to try to take more of those empty trailers and work them. We're trying to get them in and out as quick as possible, but some trailers can take anywhere from an hour. Another trailer can take 10 hours. It just matters on how much work is on that trailer. Um, we're trying to work as quick as we can. We work directly with operations on them bringing in trailers to go ahead and get them fixed and get them out. Great. Okay. Um, if there is any issues with, let's say, wind or anything like that with the I-80 shutting down, Brian will go ahead and let me know. We are the bearer of bad news in the plaza a lot of times. Just take it easy on my guys. They're basically just doing what me and Brian are saying to go ahead and do. If we need to shut down the yard, we are the ones to go ahead and hold everybody to that yard. Um, if there's any drug tests that comes in, obviously we're the people that tell you that drug tests are in. But if you do have any issues, like I said, go ahead and get a hold of me or Zach. We'll help you out as much as possible. Um, next up is Ken. He's our tractor shop foreman. And anything with tractors, he can help you out with. Ken. Thanks, Mike. Hi, I'm Ken Gowdy. I'm uh, the tractor foreman. I've been around with Prime for about 14 years. Uh, tell you a little bit about the tractor shop. I have 10 tractor techs on the day shift and around six at night shift. Um, tell you a little bit about how we've been streamlining our process. We've been implementing a, a assessment bay in Bay 61 that if you've had pre-scheduled your truck appointment or not, pull up to door 61. And my assessor, front half of the week is Jorge, the back half is Jordan. Um, he'll go over anything you've got requested, and if it's going to be within a 30-minute job, he'll fix it right then and there for you. If not, he'll go with the process with you and figure out, do we need to order parts? Is it warranty? Is it going to go to the dealership? He'll streamline that for you, get you on the schedule, and get you figured out so we can get you in and out as quick as possible. Um, if you guys have any issues where you need the um, assessment, or sorry, excuse me, the, the express bay, we have an express bay, bay, 76 and you can pull right over there it's first come first serve if you need an oil change on your truck or apu filter um, lube um, we've been doing a lot of apu campaigns so if you have anything pop up on your phone saying you need a campaign head up base 76 that's monday through friday right now i've only got one um express excuse me <laughs> the express bay guy right now as we're growing our shop which we intend to more trucks come in, then I can hire more people. So come on down. 
that I can get more people to be 24 seven on the express bay as well as the um, assessment bay. Um, we have really good fortune of having an actual on-site dealer rep for the Freightliner and his name is Kevin Lewis and he can go over anything with you on that stuff, uh, Kevin. Hi, my name is uh, Kevin Lewis. I am the on-site Freightliner guy. I've been working with you guys. Uh, next month will be 11 years. Um, I do uh, recalls, updates, uh, whatever they ask me to do here to help you guys save on uh, downtime to keep you on the road. A lot of the times when you schedule work here and for the shop, I will come over and take care of recalls right while you're in the bay. Also, if you come through the assessment bay, I can take care of your recalls or uh, problems. If you have any questions, I'm in Bay 70 or 72, and I'm more than happy to help you. I'm here Monday through Friday. Uh, one of the advantages that you guys have at Prime, you guys, the Freightliner trucks, have one of the best warranties in the business. Uh, right now, I think I think you're four years, 600,000 miles on your on your base warranties, and the recalls. Another thing, really thing cool thing they do here at Prime is they put them on your mobile app so you will know and get a notification if you have a recall on your truck. But if you have any questions about that or need me to look up your, your VINs or anything, I'm more than happy. Like I say, I'm here Monday through Friday and this facility is awesome. This is one of the nicest facilities I've ever worked at. I've been in the business for 23 years and Prime is awesome. Okay, thank you. Hey, Kevin, yes. you have a comment. Kevin does an excellent job. I'm glad we have him. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Uh, a lot of you customers, a lot of the drivers um, know me. I've been here a while, and I sure appreciate all that you guys do. Um, you guys are awesome people, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. A couple of things I want to note on a couple of those questions. Um, <clears> on <throat> the trailer question, there's ask, how do we get empty trailers? Um, you know, Mike kind of fills in over there every once in a while. I, I think uh, what we're seeing a lot of, uh, and Mike can step in or Lance can step in here, but <clears throat> we're having drivers come in and let's say that you come in at two o'clock in the afternoon and you're not, your PTA's for tomorrow morning or you need to take a break or whatever, you're hanging on to your empty trailer. I need you to go ahead and disconnect from that <clears throat> so the next guy in line can have a trailer. Um, you know, now what we're doing is we're, we're sending Mike out and he's or the security or Ben and those guys are having to go out, bang on the door, hey, wake you up or whatever the case may be and have you disconnect. If you'll just go through, I mean, if you're already dispatching your next load, that's one thing. But if you don't have a dispatcher, your PTA's out. Uh, we usually have, you know, people waiting on trailers. So let's just go ahead and go out in the yard, drop your trailer and, you know, disconnect from it and then bobtail and bobtail parking. So that would really help out. Also, uh, in the inbound, in the plows inbound, outbound, uh, Mike forgot to talk about, we do have, for you flat butters, we do have a uh, tarping station in Bay 1 that's designated only for that. You just pull through there, that way you're not out in the weather, uh, having to tarp, run tarp, whatever you're doing. So that's there for you. You know, like I said, we really want to get back live to these meetings. We can't wait. Uh, this facility, uh, Andrea is actually going to take you on a tour a little bit later. I don't think it's going to be right now, uh, but she's also going to tune back in with a live uh, video here today and and, uh, and walk you through the facility. But at this time, we are now capable of hosting the meeting, the Friday morning safety meeting from, from Salt Lake and broadcasting to the other terminals versus what we do in Missouri. So we're excited about that. We're gonna get on some sort of rotation. I'll get with uh, uh, Steve Fields on that and, and we'll go through and, and we'll set up a time to once a month or whatever that may be. And we're gonna start hosting them out here. And uh, you know we're excited, You know, free breakfast for everyone and, and all that. So we're very excited to do that. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I know you're on roll. No, you're good. Uh, we have a question. Do we have a health clinic on site? We do. We actually have a health clinic on site. Problem is it's not staffed. Dr. Abraham uh, is working on that. I actually talked to him about it last week. Uh, he is going to staff this as well. We also have sleep uh, sleep lab here. And the sleep lab is actually ready to go. The personnel is there, but we have to wait until Dr. Abraham gets it filled on the on the doctor's side. Uh, he, he's hoping in the next few weeks that we can get that up and going. Is there any more questions, Andrew? Um, there's one. Can I do OTR Tanker out of Salt Lake City? You know, uh, Brett Von Wheeler is the head of Tanker. Um, 
typically we don't see very many tanker. We don't have very many tanker customers out here, it's the best of my knowledge. Um, I would talk with your fleet manager if you're already employed here, and if you're not, then uh, you know call recruiting. But we don't have a lot of tanker business at this time, but it is something that we are wanting to grow. Yes. Um, Anthony X asks if there's Anthony X can ask questions. <laughs> Anthony X needs to go to the next question. No, what did Anthony say? He said, "Is there free breakfast today?" LOL. Uh, there is not, Anthony. You're not sliding in and get free breakfast. No. <laughs> at noon. Don't show me coming at two o'clock in the afternoon trying to get free breakfast, Anthony. Is that it? Yeah. I just want to reiterate one one more thing. Um, I can't ask enough of you uh, on this on the on the availability, the capacity for our customers right now. Our customers are in dire needs uh, of of getting that extra load ran of of getting trying to get back on track and recover for some of this weather issues we've been having so anything you can do out there i i beg of you you know if you can cancel home time or you can take a day earlier or anything to, to help these customers these customers have always been there for us uh and they continue to be there for us and, and have been ever since i've been here in the last 15 years so i'm telling you anything you can do would be greatly appreciated not only from them but from us and robert and prime and and, and mr wiki and his crew so Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, Andrea will uh, get you a live video a little bit later today uh, of the facility and do a walkthrough with you. Um, you know, please be safe out there. We look forward to seeing you uh, when you come through the terminal. If you need anything at all, I am in operations. Just stop by, see me, and I can get you the help. Any of the guys here, Mike and Inbound, he's the first fa face you'll see, him or Zach or that crew, man, just ask them if you need anything at all. They can point you in the right direction. They can help you anything like that so we're excited we have a great crew out here to get you get you guys taken care of on every level and want you to feel at home and uh and we're very proud of what we have and what we've accomplished out here so thank you for tuning in and if you ever need anything just ask thank you <laughs>